Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Welcome to the first of one of my many Doctor Who Series 8 Q&As. Hopefully I'll be doing these on a regular basis, but since this is my first, let's all have a drink. So most of the questions you guys have are about, you know, what's going to be the old stuff that they're bringing back and what's going to be some of the new stuff that they're going to introduce during Series 8. So I picked 10 of your questions and there's a special bonus one just for fun at the end. Real quick announcement though, since Matt Smith is officially gone, I'll be changing my channel avatar sometime soon. It won't be Peter Capaldi, it'll be a cartoony version of my face. I have absolutely no idea what it's going to look like, but I'm talking to some of my favorite artists to figure it out, so I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Also, because we're starting to learn things from the set of Series 8, I'm going to start doing videos for that too. So I'll probably do a video next week explaining some things we've learned based on the scenes they shot outside last week. Be sure to subscribe to get that. Alright, so let's get started. Don't worry, I'll be drinking during this. Question 1. Ryan Nicholson asks, What do you think about the rumors of an Easter special? So there was actually a rumor of an Easter special last year when they were talking about Series 8. Nothing has been said about it since, and obviously you think the BBC would spend some time marketing it if they wanted to get people excited about a full hour of a brand new Doctor, so I don't think it's going to happen. It's possible that they might do a webisode. It's more likely that we'll get a regular Christmas special though. Question number two, Veg to Badass asks, Do you think we'll see the Return of the Master in Series 8? And if he regenerates, who would you pick to play him? So there haven't been any confirmations or denials that the Master is coming back. John Sim is still totally capable of playing the role, but if he is coming back and John Sim doesn't want to play the character anymore, some really awesome choices might be Jason Isaacs from Harry Potter, Dan Stevens from Downton Abbey, or maybe even Idris Elba. That would be totally awesome, but I'm not expecting the character to come back. Question number three, Lydia Sobreros asks, Would you be opposed to having an American actor appear in Series 8? I'm totally open to anyone appearing on the show, as long as they're a good actor and the characters are interesting. The reason why it's largely a British cast is because it shoots in the UK, it's just for practical reasons. Question number four, Jack O'Connor asks, if Peter Jackson were to direct an episode in series eight, what sort of plot would you have him bring to life? So it's looking less and less likely that Peter Jackson is actually going to have any time to direct Doctor Who, but if he did, he would totally have to do a period piece and something with some really awesome creatures. Think of it as being like Doctor Who, Lord of the Rings, or you know, like Lord of the Tardises or something like that. He is a big fan of Daleks, so he could always be the person to bring Daleks back too. Question number five. Mark Bruyet asks, could the similarities with 3 have something to do with Tom Baker saying he'll revisit old faces? So you're talking about the similarities in his costume. Honestly, I think the revisiting old faces is just a wink and a nod to possibilities for future anniversary specials. Tom Baker was really just kind of seeding the idea that they could bring back old classic doctors, you know, old faces who are still alive. Question number 6, Slade x 23 gaming asks, do you think that Series 8 Episode 1 will have a new villain? Or do you think an old villain will return? So in the 11th hour, they had two separate races appearing for the first time, at least on camera. There was the Atroxy, and then there was that mystery villain. I don't think they ever named what the race of that was. So I'm actually guessing it's going to be something similar to that. Question number seven, Terry Davenport asks, will Galfrey play into the plot? Yes, but only in the background. Think of Series 8 as having three main types of stories. So the A story will be whatever the new big villain plot is, you know, like the silence during Series 6. That'll be like the A plot. The B plot will be the Gallifrey plot. I'm not expecting them to find Gallifrey or to fix the solution during Series 8. And then the C plot, that third one, will just be the week to week problems that Dr. solves wherever he ends up going. Question number 8, Selena C asks, what will River Song's role in Series 8 be? So Alex Kingston did one of her classic spoilers lines just to tease fans, you know, wearing a River Song type costume. There have been no confirmations from Stephen Moffat or the BBC that she's going to be featured though. The best theory that I've seen so far is that her consciousness is actually stored in the papal mainframe that we saw during the Christmas special and she'll get out that way. Question number 9, Browncoat48 asks, Will Capaldi use Matt Smith's Sonic? So sometimes the colors just change, but typically every new Doctor gets a new Sonic, so yes. Peter Capaldi, for all intents and purposes, will get a new Sonic. The TARDIS interior will not change though. They spent a couple million dollars making that one during the 2012 Christmas special, so they're not going to do that again anytime soon. Think about it this way, Peter Capaldi's outfit will change before the TARDIS changes again. And last one, number 10, this one's a fun one. Morph Production asks, do you think that Benedict Cumberbatch would make a good potential master? So yes, absolutely. There is no one I have met who did not think that Sherlock would make the best version of the master. But just to give you an idea, Benedict Cumberbatch is one of the busiest actors out there, so even if he was totally down to play the role, you know, Johnson didn't want to play it again, he probably wouldn't be able to do it just for scheduling reasons. It took them two years to make Sherlock Series 3 just because Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman were shooting so many movies. That's how busy he is. 
thank you so much for submitting your questions, guys. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully, I'll do this on a regular basis. I might not do a Q&A every week, but my next Doctor Who video will be a production-related video. I might also do a video for my top 5 or top 10 picks for a new master, even if he doesn't appear in the new series. Be sure to subscribe to get it. I'm also doing an Arrow Q&A tonight. You can click here to get that, and you can click here to get my reactions to Peter Capaldi's new outfit. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.